Hi, everyone, and welcome. It's so nice to see you here now for this 19th Inside Scoop newsletter at my Relationship Vision website. Relationship Vision is to be your go-to relationship training resource. If you're in touch with your need for connection and you want to learn and you really want to learn more about how to create that connection, the miracle to happen for you, you're in the right place. All the work that I do is about empowering the transformation of relationships by developing the relationship with yourself. So the topic for today is giving and receiving feedback in a relationship, how important that is. And this was inspired by uh, an article I read, my, my, my son wrote for Psychology Today, my son who's also a therapist, uh, a relationship therapist, Jason Linder, um, writes articles for Psychology Today. And uh, this is one that he wrote a few months ago, but I, uh, it inspired me. Uh, it kind of put giving and receiving feedback back into my uh, radar uh, and something that's really important to talk about in relationships. So the name of this article that he wrote was Three Ways to Give and Receive Feedback, Key Interpersonal Skills. Unlocking potential for personal relationship and professional success. Giving and receiving feedback is what makes relationships work well and sets them up for growth. We aren't able to grow as individuals in relationships and as professionals without some proficiency in giving and receiving feedback. So this is, this is right in my wheelhouse. This comes up so much in my working relationships because understand that what I've what I, uh, learned is that uh, relationships break down and why people come into therapy uh, for, to deal with their relationship issues is because of a backlog of unexpressed feelings, unresolved issues that, and unresolved issues that don't get the airtime they need. In other words, there's no conversation about it. There's no giving and receiving feedback uh, about what's going on with each other. And for example, one of uh, there's there's a prompt that I use in couples therapy, and um, it's set up so you, people the clients can get practice giving and receiving feedback, and. Specifically, one of the important conversations to have, necessary conversations, and be able to give each other feedback on is how you feel towards each other and in the relationship. It's kind of a checking in and comparing notes, but it's a process of giving and receiving feedback. And that is, um, if you're able to give feedback and have this conversation about how you feel towards each other and in the relationship, that's going to move you to uh, a deepening connection and greater intimacy for sure. So the how to do this, some of it, so it's so difficult. That's why people come in to therapy so I could facilitate conversations and they can get some practice. But some of the pointers or some of the, the, key, the, the key things to keep in mind is it's about being objective when you're giving feedback, being objective and also listening objectively. So when you get, when you're objective and you're giving feedback, a lot, it's not a very animated, emotional, intense sharing and giving off. It's more of a talking about your experience objectively and letting the other person know, for in this case, what you're feeling towards them, him or her, um, how you're feeling in the relationship. Uh, and also, and when, so listening to feedback also is, it's much easier to listen and receive feedback when the person giving the feedback is objective and not emotional, intense, um, accusing, blaming, criticizing, all of that stuff, but just more sharing what their experience is. When, it, when you're more objective, the person can actually hear that more, um, can hear it more coming in and without um, taking such a personalized hit from the feedback, without taking it personally or reacting to it, but more being able to just to listen to what's going on for the other person. 
And then when you, when that per, when you're done and you're listening and you hear what the other person's experience is, then it's going to be much easier for you to give feedback as to um, you know what you're feeling towards the other person in, in the relationship objectively. And this is when making I statements. This is, you're talking about your experience, sharing your experience and making I statements. And so the, again, the more objective you are and the cleaner and clearer you are in your experience, the easier it is going to be to listen to it and receive it and appreciate it. And uh, gain an understanding of each other's experience that's going to bring you closer and bridge that uh, connection. So this is it. Okay. So this is the, uh, the lowdown on giving and receiving feedback in a relationship. And, uh, so hope you practice doing that and, uh, I'll see you next week. Yes. Rely on the connections you make and the intimacy you create for sustenance. Take care. See you next week.